Sounds and good. you can go ahead, slate your name and outlet. You may begin. My name is Fernando Escobar. I'm with Fab TV, and I'm sitting here with Bryce Dallas Howard. Hello, how are you? I'm great, and your hair looks awesome. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. I got wonderful instructions over FaceTime this morning from a gentleman named Jason Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. My first question is, and by the way, it's such a heartfelt, hard not to have tissue next to you to watch this and compare to your own bringing up with your own dad and everything. So my question is, what was the determining factors for you to really go ahead and make this this film, your, your, your doc? Um, honestly, I think that the subject matter, uh, I, I it's about a documentary about modern fathers around the globe and specifically celebrating them. Um, I think the fact that it was happening, uh, when I, a, a couple of years ago, um, I, I made a choice to direct full time for a period of time so that I could kind of like launch that, um, aspect of, of my career. And, um, and so I, I, I got Mandalorian directing on Mandalorian, which was incredible. And then I heard about this opportunity and um, and realized that it would be possible to be filming Mandalorian and this simultaneously, uh, which is like very interesting as well, because thematically there ended up being a lot of similarities because Mandalorian is sort of a story of a father and son. Um, and uh, and so it was it was something that I just I, I ended up falling in love with the possibility of of. Um, sharing uh you know so many of of these guys stories uh about their families and 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 who they were in the world and what that took and i was also really eager to interview comedian fathers um because i feel like comedians stand-up comedians especially are are like our modern day philosophers and i just had this sort of just in the room i had this idea of like i'm like okay it'll be greek chorus of comedians then we go and we film fathers in their natural habitat around the globe. And uh, maybe I even throw some of my own family in there. <laughs> no doubt. How did you pick uh, the non-US uh, fathers? Uh, I mean, honestly, there were so many dads. The yeah. challenge was narrowing them down. Uh, specifically, Shuichi uh, is very active in um, in the father community in Japan. And uh, one of the producers found a comic that had been um, made about him that had him like on his bicycle with his blonde hair and like his son and back. And um, and so therefore, you know, th that's how he it came to his attention and, and found out, um, you know, reached out to Shuichi and, and his wife and, and connected with him. Um, and Tiago in Brazil, uh, we did a lot of work with the Promundo Institute in Brazil, uh, and, and they really focused on um, the culture of men, supporting men, um, uh, getting rid of toxic masculinity, um, supporting men with, you know, being nonviolent caregivers, uh, all of that. And, um, uh, and that's, that's in part how we met uh, Tiago, uh, because he's in Brazil and also very, very active. Um, I was really shocked when I saw Grandpa Rance in, in, in your doc. That was really awesome. Thank you. That was something that I had filmed in 2013, actually. Um, I did a short documentary about the 60s, and so I interviewed him. And then when I started doing this, uh, I mentioned to the producer, who had also produced that 1960s doc, I was like, you know, I, I think there might, be, there might be some more stuff in that interview of of his um, that we could potentially, uh, you know, we could potentially use. And and so he got that footage and uh, the editor uh, cut in that story. And I was just, you know, like sobbing. It was hard to watch it. I would sometimes kind of skip over that part a little bit. Um, and, and then it was really when the movie was done that that I was like, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's figure out what this was, what this Howard family storyline is all about. Um, it's so personal. I got an idea for you because Grandpa Rance was so awesome. 
grandpas. Oh my gosh, that would be really fun. <laughs> that would be, I mean, I think it would be probably grandparents. I think, I think we could do something with grandparents because I think we could kind of, it's like, it's like a thing to be a grandparent, like to be a grandmother and a grandfather, I think is maybe a little bit more inherently similar than being a mother and a father. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just excited about your idea. <laughs> Thank you. Just give me some little tiny little credit for it. <laughs> Fernando, you got to wrap, please. I'm sending you a lot of messages. Please wrap. Oh, I didn't see them. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. Sorry about that. All right. No, not at all, Fernando. Thank you so much. Just enough, enough time for me to get your idea. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you as well. Okay. Bye-bye. Sorry about that.